If you find yourself angry at work all the time, dealing with anger issues at work is never gonna be a fun time, but it is something that you definitely need to be focusing on. The first question that I would have if you're continuously angry at work, why? What's causing you to be angry at work? Are you frustrated because people aren't listening to you? Have you even figured that out yet? Do you have the self-awareness to really understand what is triggering the anger in you? And I don't use that word triggering lightly. I mean, what's actually the event that causes you to feel this anger? Is it your contributions not being respected? Or is it some particular person acting in a way that doesn't acknowledge your presence or a way that, you know, deters you? or you know, something annoying where they don't think about you and that gets you fired up. I know that's one of the things that used to get me fired up when people change systems and don't think about everyone involved. It's like, okay, well, this makes me pretty angry. But having the awareness and the regulation, so self-regulation, so now we're talking emotional intelligence, right? So the self-awareness is the first step. Self-regulation is the second step. So if I'm in a meeting and I start getting angry at something, I will literally call out wow, this is getting me a bit fired up. And then really having the awareness in the moment to see what is firing me up. It's like, wow, this is incredibly frustrating that they're acting like this and they're not really paying attention to us. Just having that awareness and bringing that awareness in the moment to that frustration allows me to not bottle it up and have a Ned Flanders-like explosion down the track, but it also helps the group to deal with it in real time. So it's not something where I have to hold all this in, I'm really just expressing myself, and I also am more authentic because I'm expressing more emotions to the group. So I'm not a social chameleon here. I'm like, this actually fires me up. I'm actually quite frustrated at this person or this process. And just calling that out saying, wow, this is pretty frustrating. How can we deal with this better? Then the group can help you or at least acknowledge that you're having that emotion, which is something that if you've never had that, it's quite freeing as well as it helps you be more authentic. If you had a situation at work that just a little bit of awareness would have probably fixed it when you're looking back in hindsight now, you should drop me a comment down below because the first time I heard this topic, I found it incredibly insightful and I think I could have saved myself a lot of pain if I had just paid a bit more attention to myself and to the person that I was frustrated with. The next thing we can do is start to detach your opinion from your identity. This is an incredibly normal thing for engineers to do to have their opinion and their identity basically tied together. So you'll see this, I know I've seen it all around in my career, where you have some engineer, and if you say something even neutral about an idea of theirs, they act like you are kicking their baby because their opinion and their identity are intertwined. What I want you to do is to divorce your opinion from your identity. You and your opinions are different. They are separate. You should separate them. And this will take effort if you haven't done it before. If you want more on detaching your opinion from your identity, I actually have several videos on this topic and I will link one right up there. So if you have more of a people problem issue, so you're not having an issue with a process or some sort of work product, but it's actually a person or people related issue, the real thing you need to do here is to bring some awareness to whatever the problem is. Is some certain person really frustrating you by the way that they're acting? This is a perfect opportunity for you to use your social intelligence via your professional social network to see if the way that they're acting towards you is consistent with the way that they act towards others. This is one of those situations where you will start to see where people have positive or negative reputations that precede them when they walk into a room using your professional social network. If you have people that have been around your company much longer than you've been there, they would be a wealth of knowledge if they've been working in the group where this person has been to know if that person is acting consistently with the way they normally act or if they are acting different around you for some particular reason. And if they are acting differently around you for some particular reason, that gives you some very good information that you can start to work towards maybe airing out whatever is causing that person to act differently around you. So you can start figuring out, okay, what's going on here? Is this person threatened by me because I'm, you know, performing at their level or they're, they're threatened that I'm going to take their work or take some promotion? What's the real cause of this? And this will take some awareness on your part to pay attention and to use your social network to really figure out what's going on with this person in question or people in question or group. 
whatever it is. As per usual, I don't have any silver bullets for you. You just need to raise your awareness, so you need to have higher emotional and social intelligence to raise your awareness to really figure out what's prompting your anger and then start to work to rectify it. I trust you've been paying attention to this emotional intelligence video thus far. I want to help you pay even better attention to your emotional and social intelligence by clicking the link below this video and scheduling a free call with me. On the call, we'll come up with a personalized plan for you to start getting bigger raises, faster promotions, and stronger relationships with everyone around you. Don't delay, click that link below and schedule a call with me today.